What is going on guys? This is Crozen and welcome back to Dark Souls Remastered and this time my Faith Pyromancer Sorcerer. I don't know what you would call this but it's mainly just using all three types of magic in this game. So it's like a triple hybrid build and there's quite a few ways that people do hybrid builds in this game but one of the most common ways is they go for 40 intelligence or 44 to unlock the crystal soul spear that way they would also have access to pursuers and homing crystal soul mass and then they settle for 28 faith so that way they get wrath of the gods and even though that's the most common way of doing things it does require quite a few more points than this way that i like to go especially on a triple magic build because you're going to need a lot more attunement to be able to utilize all three of the magic schools and by doing that uh, you're able to achieve it by getting to 16 intelligence so that way you have access to dark orb and dark bead and then you could either go to 40 faith or you can bump it a little bit higher and that's what I did here I went up to 45 faith so that way you get a little bit more extra added damage not only on your wrath of the gods but also on your sorceries which is the dark orb and dark bead so uh, dark moon talisman because this is the best talisman past 40 faith and then the 10 dark moon catalyst is essential for this build because this will scale all of your sorceries with faith so that 45 faith will really come in handy with the 10 Dark Moon Catalyst, and that is what you want with this build. So uh, by doing this, that allows me to have a little bit more attunement. So as you see, 34 attunement for those 8 attunement slots. I highly recommend that, so that way you get the best of all three worlds. And 43 vitality, 25 endurance, because that's really all you need. This is mainly like a pure caster build, like 99% of the time. I did also give the option to add one type of weapon to this build. And I went up to 13 strength and 15 dexterity for the divine wing spear. Uh, but there's different ways you could do this. You could even go for 14 strength and 14 dexterity. And then you have access to the scythe and the great scythe, even the uchi gatana if you wanted to. But I wanted to mainly spec with uh, the wing spear here, which requires that 15 dexterity and 13 strength. Uh, this thing's one of my favorite spears in the game, and it has a lot of good range. And you also have access to the Balder side sword, regardless which way you go for, because this only requires 14 dexterity. And it's nice to have one weapon on this build just to finish off weak enemies or to finish off someone in PvP. Um, again. 99% of the time this is a caster. This is just something there for a secondary uh, thing to finish people off with. And the Pyro Flame, I like to have this in the right hand so that way uh, I can cast Black Flame in case anyone gets up on me. Uh, but Black Flame, Great Chaos Fireball, and Fire Tempest are the Pyro spells we're going to be using. And then uh, Dark Moon Talisman and the 10 Dark Moon Catalyst in the left hand. Uh, that gives you access to Wrath of the Gods and then also one Support Miracle, which I like to use Great Magic Barrier. Uh, this will probably be the best one to have because everyone uses magic in this game, some form of magic, whether they're using sorcery or any kind of magic uh, buff or whatever that they do. And you could even go for Replenishment, even Tranquil Walk of Peace if you really wanted to. I like Great Magic Barrier the best though, so that's why I added that one instead. Um, and then uh, for the fashion, Crown of the Dark Sun, this gives you 10% bonus damage to everything that you do. You could even go for Crown of Dusk, that gives you 20% extra damage, but you do suffer an extra 30% magic damage taken. So, Dingy Robe, Gauntlets of Thorns, and the Shadow Leggings, and as you see, I finally upgraded my armor. Had a lot of people telling me, hey, why aren't you upgrading your armor? Well, I finally did. So... Uh, for the rings, Ring of Favor and Protection and Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring. Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring will boost your sorcery and your pyromancy damage by roughly around 20%. And keep in mind that this does only have 9 poise. If you wanted to get up to 53 poise, then you can go for the same armor set I was wearing in the Pure Faith build, which was just the Knight Gauntlets and also the Hollow Soldier Waistcloth. And that'll get you up to 13 poise, which means if you put the wolf ring on, then you will have 53 poise. If you really wanted to do that, but I feel like since this is a pure caster, you probably want to have Bellowing Dragon Crest ring and also that survivability from the ring of favor and protection. But other than that, that is it for this build, guys. I gotta say, this was a lot of fun. 
and stick around so that way you can see just how effective this thing is in some PvP. So how I like to start a fight off is probably just cast Great Magic Barrier regardless of who you face just because that way you always get this up in time. Uh, and then I just go out and start casting some Dark Orbs to start to fight until they get close to me. And once they get close to me, that means either Dark Bead, which you'll see here, or come up on them and get a Black Flame. And this guy just staggered the hell out of me. And then, to really surprise them, I could do something like that. And now they're low on HP, and now you could just probably go out into your Wing Spear and finish them off. And he's going to try to parry me, of course. So... Uh, you can probably just uh, go out in this again and trick them a little bit and finish them off that way. So that's kind of the, uh, the strategy that I like to use. So as you guys see, great magic barrier, cast some dark orbs, cast some dark beads, black flame, and then surprise them with the wrath of the gods and finish them off with the wing spear if they need any HP left. And that's kind of how I do things. You do got to be careful though because even though you can tank a couple of hits you don't want to get in that habit of uh, doing that just because you don't have much poise on this so you can get staggered pretty easily so uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're casting and stuff like that uh, you want to keep a little bit of range and have them run in on you a little bit okay so uh, let's do a little bit more pyro let's see what this guy's going to do here oh there we go Oh, he is backed up. Let me see if I can't do a Fire Tempest to finish him. Oh, no. I should have walked in a little bit more on him. That was my fault. Oh, and the backstab. And the backstab. I should have free aimed that. That was all my fault. That was all my fault there. All right. Let's see what he's going to do. Uh, just, just try to backstab me again. Sorry, Giant Dad, but that's not going to work out. Also, is there any other PvP areas that you guys would like to see? I mean, this is the most active place by far. I tried a little bit of the forest, and I wasn't really getting summoned there or anything like that. Um, but I feel like this is the only place that's soul level 120 that people like to go for. Uh, let's see what this guy's going to do. Okay, he doesn't know I have anything else. He just knows I have the pyro flame out. Let me see if I can't get a dark orb. Oh... He almost sucked that one. Oh, that one was close too. Oh, it did hit him. Okay, so he's lagging a little bit. He is lagging a little bit. And wow. Wow. Dark orb, dark bead. That is all you really need to kill someone on this build. Okay, so it looks like we got a little bit of a faith user here. Let's see how this is going to play out. Oh, why would you do that? Why would you cast that? Why would you do that? Um, oh, there we go. There we go. I hit him. Let me see if I can't get a great chaos fireball. Oh, no. Fuck. I did that totally wrong. I casted it the other way. That was all my fault. Uh, is he really running in on me? Is he really running in on me? Take a surprise wrath of the gods. Oh, this guy is rushing. He is rushing the hell out of me. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. All right, please take that. Yes. Oh wow, he has a lot of HP. That did like nothing. That did like nothing to him. All right, let's see what I can do here. Yes. Oh wow, that actually missed. That actually missed. I don't know how that missed, by the way. Okay, he's not gonna run in on me. Okay, he might run that way. Nope, he's faking me out. Oh, there we go. I finally got him. Finally got him. Let me see if I can't fire tempest him. Please hit that. Please tell me he's in range. Oh my god, that was like way too close. That was way too close. Alright, there we go. Finish him off with Wrath of the Gods. I mean, there's just so many options with this build. That's why I like this moveset the best. Having uh, both of these sorceries, obviously. Uh, but Black Flame, Great Chaos Fireball, Fire Tempest, Wrath of the Gods. I mean, that offensive setup will wreck anything. Okay, so we got another guy coming in here. Oh, I don't know what he's going to do. Oh, he's really rushing me, huh? You are really rushing me, and you're going straight for that backstab. Oh, what the hell? I was already, like, away from him, and it still showed him in the animation. That was, like, fucked up right there. Oh, yeah, this guy's definitely lagging. That was definitely a delay there. 
Okay, you running? Yes, you're running in on me. Yes, you are. And take some of that, you lagging whore. So I would say between the Pure Faith and this build, they're probably my two favorite builds at the moment. Uh, this one's just so fun because there's so much variety as far as all the different casting options that you have, you know. And that's what's so amazing about this build because it still does a lot of good damage. It's probably not going to do as much damage as like a 50 Faith build with Wrath of the Gods, but your Dark Bead still does a lot when it's in close range. And, okay, this guy's getting close now. I fought this guy already, though. I know he's already going to look for a backstab. Yep, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Okay. Wrath of the Gods. Yes, look at that. 660 damage. That, like, takes off more than half of their HP alone. So I'm sure you guys notice now that after a couple of fights, the, the thing that people look for the most are backstabs against this build. Because they see you casting, like, constantly, so they're like, okay, we gotta go run around him and see if we can't uh, finish him off that way. And the cool thing about this, oh, there you go again. <laughs> there you go again. Uh, and the cool thing about this is you can survive a few of these hits, and that's what you need. Okay, you're gonna run in. Oh, yes you are. Yes you are. Okay. Wrath of the Gods, please. Oh, wow, that actually missed. Okay, never mind. It hit him. It hit him twice. Oh, you're fucked now. You are fucked in that corner. Oh, man. I feel bad for you. So one way to counter those backstabs is to actually free aim your stuff. So, like, uh, Great Chaos Fireball or Wrath of the Gods, even Black Flame. Those are three really good ones that you can actually free aim pretty well in this game. Uh, so, let's uh, go ahead and face Ryan Reynolds here. Oh, no. Please don't try to get around me. Please don't try to get around me. Oh, wow, I missed it. Point blank range. That was not cool. That was not cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, oh, man, I just missed that, too. I just missed that. All right, let's see what he's going to do. Oh, there we go. So you could even free aim it, and that helps because then they can't really get behind you if you free aim it to whichever direction they're going. And that is a, a way to counter backstabs on this build. So another cool option that you have with this build is you could even replace the great magic barrier with power within. And that'll really make your damage go nuts. And you could even put on crown of dusk and there you go. Then you're a glass cannon. Oh wow, that missed that point blank range. Oh, that shouldn't. That shouldn't though. Oh no, you don't want to do that again or else you're not going to last. Oh, there we go. All right, let me see if I can't free aim this. Oh, he's running. He is running. Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, please hit that. Okay, thank you.